the Barbados Bankers Association says it is heartened by the recent decision by the Central Bank of Barbados to establish new monetary policy measures. Those changes are mainly intended to support the domestic banking sector in light of the projected impact of COVID-19 on the economy and the financial system. Ms. Wellington added the association is also very supportive of the reduction of the reserve requirement since this has also been a long-standing ask of the commercial banks. Local insurance provider Sagicor is assuring its policyholders that any COVID-19 related claims that are submitted under its medical insurance facility will be honored. That's according to Edward Clark, Executive Vice President and General Manager of Sagicor Life Incorporated. We want to allay the fears that health cases related to COVID-19 would not be covered under medical insurance policies. At Sagicor, our clients can be certain that all COVID-19 related claims, claims will be honored by SAGICOR as outlined in their existing policies. And if they are unsure as to what is covered, they can contact their advisors or the SAGICOR hotline. Um, we are more than ready and willing to assist them in any queries they may have. Well, let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. First up in Jamaica, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited was the volume leader with 10,393,228 units at $1.36 each. And they were followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares and Trans Jamaican Highway Limited USD. In Trinidad and Tobago, Ansem Macau Limited was the volume leader with 56,529 shares changing hands for a value of $3,097,878.50 and they were followed by First Citizens Bank Limited and Massey Holdings Limited. 